It's October 1st, sitting over a food plot that my dad and I put a lot of work in this year. Um, we expanded it to two and a half acres. We've been getting a lot of deer on it. Um, it's 70 degrees. I mean, I wouldn't hunt in this type of temperature, but we have had a few bucks on there, summer patterns still, so try to get to them before the hunting pressure does and they change what they're doing. Got a nice uh, seven hanging around. That's real tall on his uh, three point side and then a pretty symmetrical eight. We're just gonna settle in and uh, we got four, four and a half hours till dark, so hopefully something pops out. Matt. It's October 1st, still daylight left obviously, and we recovered both these bucks. We didn't show any tracking footage because uh, I saw I saw the seven pointer drop and I heard the eight pointer drop. They both went less than 100 yards. About uh, 15 to 20 yard shots on both of them. Uh, 20 minutes apart, first time ever getting two bucks in a season, let alone on opening day. So uh, the seven pointer came in first and got an arrow in him. And then the neighbor actually came up. He was getting out late from work. He jumped in the stand. And then, uh, well, 15, 20 minutes later, this guy came up, got an arrow in him. And the neighbor came out, helped me find him quick, which was nice of him. Uh, I didn't want to ruin his hunt, but he was after these as well, or at least one of them, because these were the biggest two that were on camera around here. And that's all you can really ask for. Normally, I wouldn't hunt 70 degrees October 1st, like I had said, but these ones were. Uh, kind of in a pattern from summer still so took advantage of it uh, instead of waiting for a cold front and it worked out feels good to get him down and my wife brought Graham out he's eight months old his first hunting season and he got some pictures with the bucks so god is good life is good and uh i just get to hang out with other people during the rest of the season now